fruits of hunger and desperation for God. There are different levels of faith. There are different levels of expectation. Like, I want you to look at this picture. Okay. Iniyayaw, uaw, uaw, giniyaw. Inigal, libog to sang tinigang niya. Sa balaya. Kita nyo? Pa isam lang, sa aram lang sila sa isa ka lugar. So, ang experience ng glory nila, lain-lain man, kay lain man niya mo. O, oh, ini okay man. No? O, oh, iban niya mo, grabe na ginayang grabe na ginayang ilayang experience of, of, of glory. Okay? So, there are also different ways of experiencing the manifestation of glory. Others fall down. Oh, tumba lagi. Others weep. Others laugh. Others are compelled to kneel. Others just feel tremendous peace and rest. But hindi mo na, hindi ka magsiling mas glorious ni kay na lipungan gin sa niya. Huwag ka kabalo kung ano ni natabo sa tigipuson niya. Basi ma missionary ni sa Mozambique. Huwag man siya natumba, pero ang glory isang ginoy yan, nagkunsad siya. Lain-lain niyang pag-experience ang glory. We have no basis to judge one another. May iba niya conviction lang, pero grabe na yung glory of the holiness of God. So, lain-lain ang experience of glory. Ini yung holy laughter niya. No? Di, kadlaw da sila. Okay. Ang importante lang, whatever the manifestations and experiences are, maayo lang ko nga diri sa aton, wala lang tayo sa culture o panikwang. Ha? Glory, pak! The glory will be upon you, pak! Ikaw, ito. Ngayon patiran mo, ito yung ngayon tulod mo na ito. Hindi na naiya glory, ha? Mixed martial arts na naiya. That's why, include ko na di nga picture, oh. Kung mag-pray kita, no? Okay man na nga mag-pray diri, no? Pero diri gin ibutang. Hindi iya nga diri sa agtang. Nga mag-pray ka nga daw nga panukod ka na, abi nga. Ano nga expect mo nga tudlon? Maayo pa mag-pray ka, abi, butang na lang sa likod. Para bla wala sang mixture. Kung iya sang gino, iya lang sang gino. Hindi pag-intrahan sang tao. Nga mga aksyon. Okay? No forcing of people to behave in any way. Do not expect a particular form of reaction as the only correct reaction or response. Just let the Holy Spirit be. Okay? Liwatun ko sa pagsiling, in all the things that I have attended, I have never been slain yet nga na tumba. But what I always feel when I am really caught up in the glory is weeping and kneeling. When I am really caught up in the glory, I either kneel and weep or at the same time. Okay? So, when glory comes, healing comes, supernatural finances come, deliverance, etc. come, conviction come, peace comes, revelation comes. There are no secrets in the secret place because the secret place is where God reveals His secrets. That is His glory. Everyone gets His own cloud of glory. Masi ang isaya, healing ang nag-abot siya. Ang isaya, provision. Ang isaya, peace. Kay, disturb gid siya. Isaya, conviction. Tadlungon ko na din kabuhi ko. Lain-lain ni ang manifestations and effects of glory. But, The glory of the Lord comes upon everyone who is prepared and ready and hungry and thirsty. And each individual cloud of glory, kada isa sa atun, ikaw mayara ka, ako mayara man. Basta glory na sa ginoo. We get a corporate cloud of glory. The whole place is filled with the glory of God. The Lord. The important thing to remember is we are a people of glory. Amen. Because we are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. Then we pray in glory. We minister in glory. We preach in glory. 
we go about our chores in glory. Relate with one another in glory. We do everything in glory, with glory, for the glory of the Lord. Ano na abi makounseling ka nga ikaw mismo, irritable man ka, akig. Uh, ano problema mo, blaho? <laughs> ah, kung ako na, dino, do, kung nala na. Eh, kung di, gintransmit mo ya ang imo man nga defilement, amo na akin ang lana, na fill up ka ganyan sang glory para makaminister ka man sa iban. Amen? May we do everything we can by His grace. To keep the cloud of glory that ye would walk worthy of God who has called you unto his kingdom and glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Topic tonight is building the glory realm in our lives. This is a very, very important topic. Building the glory realm. And as we, we finish this topic, you will understand why this is very important. The glory realm is also called by another name by people who understand the works of the Holy Spirit. The glory realm is equivalent to what is known as an open heavens atmosphere. We can affect the atmosphere. We can affect the atmosphere. If somebody is sad or angry and agitated and he or she comes here in this room with a face that is upset, everybody will be affected. Because human beings are spirit beings and they affect the atmosphere. If somebody comes here with joy and exuberance and lightness of spirit, everybody here will be affected. So, when we speak of the glory realm, when we speak of the open heavens, we basically speak of the same thing. Open heavens is mentioned in Isaiah chapter 64. I am starting with this because this is a good introduction to glory. For glory to come, the heavens must be opened. Isaiah 64, verse 1. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and you would come down. Unless the heavens are opened, the glory will not come down. What happens when the glory comes down? The mountains would tremble before you. Fire sets twigs ablaze, causes water to boil. Come down to make your name known to your enemies and cause the nations to quake before you when you did awesome things that we did not expect. You came down and the mountains trembled before you. Since ancient times, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who acts, acts on behalf of those who wait for Him. You come to the help of those who gladly do right, who remember your ways. Everything that you read, from verse 2 to verse 5 and onwards of Isaiah 64 begins with verse 1. Only when the heavens are rent or torn open and the glory comes down, then all these other things would happen. Verses 2 to 5 is glory. Glory. The glory of God terrorizes His enemy. The glory of God does awesome things for his children but the heavens would have to be open in revived asia they have many open heaven seminar they study how to create an atmosphere of open heavens why is it that some churches bugat ang praise and worship bugat ang panimbahon because the heavens are not open why is it that some churches you feel touched by the Lord when you go to that church for that service? When you go out, it is as if you just met with the Lord. What's the difference? In one church, the heavens did not open. In the other church, the heavens opened and the glory of God came down. So, in this study, we want to get a fresh new understanding of the glory of God equivalent to open heavens and why it is important. It's not an option. 
without open heavens, without the glory of God, the Christian life is practically no the same from earthly human life. The difference only being that if you die, probably you'll go to heaven when you die if you are a true Christian. But all the other things on earth, parehas man. Depressed man sila, depressed ka man. Agitated sila, agitated ka man. Warrior sila, warrior ka man. What is the difference? Because we do not live in the glory realm. We must pursue the glory realm. We must be desperate to live in the glory realm. We must be pursuing open heavens. So we want to understand how. Paano ni? How might we pursue? How can we experience? How can we operate? How can we live in the glory realm? And we want to understand how we might build an atmosphere for the glory of God to come down. They call it in the teaching sessions in the tapes of Revive Asia, our participation in the glory realm. We create the atmosphere, then He comes. We prepare for the place, then He comes. Sometimes He looks at the atmosphere and He decides whether He wants to come or not. And that, that is what we will look at tonight. Remember, we are not mere men. Hindi ta ordinaryo ng mga tao. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2. Ginrebuke ni Apostle Paul ang Corinthians because they were fleshly. And in their carnality or fleshliness, they were walking like mere men. We are not mere men. Believers of God are not mere men. People who know the Lord Jesus Christ are not the same as the rest of the people in the world. And we should live in the supernatural from glory to glory. It is not for the super Christians. It's not for the super apostles. It is for everybody. Everybody must desire glory. A purpose-driven life is okay. But I would rather pursue a glory-driven life. Because purpose is absorbed in the glory of God. The highest pursuit of the Christian life is the glory of God. Anything less than the glory of God is short. The highest is the glory of God. Why? Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty or there is freedom. And we, with unveiled faces, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image of the Lord from glory to glory just as from the Lord, the Spirit. Gin design kita for glory. We are designed for glory. We are mechanically and constitutionally prepared to receive glory. We have to change our mind. Hindi lang tayo ordinaryo ng mga tao. Gin design kita isang ginoya for glory. And the journey of the Christian life is from glory to glory. When we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior, when we repent of our sins, that's one level of glory. When we decide to cleanse our lives, that's another level of glory. When we decide to save our family and not allow divorce or annulment to destroy the family, that's another glory. To glory, to glory, to glory. From glory to glory. Remember, there are three realms of the supernatural. The realm of faith, the realm of anointing, the realm of glory. I will not repeat this uh, Foundation. We discussed that last time. Except that we want to emphasize that we build on each realm. The realm of faith. Whether we receive or not the things that we ask for, we must live by faith. Because it sets us up to receive the anointing, which is the empowerment of God, which sets us up to enter the realm of glory. And why should we be interested in the pursuit of God's glory. Ni bugtuon tagid ni kay kumbinsyon tagid in the practical realm. Nga apangitaon gid tayang glory. Ti Brad nagaalaga naman ko sa kay Lord, ara naman ko da kada simba. Ga hatag man ko tights ko okay naman na guru. Why man ko ga pakasala? Okay man ko may inamutan man ko sa ginan sa Okay naman na guru, oh Brad. Glory gid ya. Have you experienced the glory of God? Can you say that you have tasted of the glory of God. Okay. These are just a few of the hundreds of verses on the glory of God. 
gin pili ko lang nikit damo damo gin look at the reasons why we should be interested in the pursuit of glory psalm 3 3 you o lord are a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head the shield of the lord and the lifting of the lord is in the operation of his glory first chronicles 16 24 declare his glory among the nations his marvelous works among all peoples his marvelous works is in the context of his glory john 1 14 the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we saw his glory glory as of the only begotten from the father full of grace and truth fullness of bugay healing bugay traveling bugay providing bugay protecting bugay full in the half truth everything is clear everything is transparent nothing to hide nothing to be ashamed of sa diin na siya ma-achieve my experience when we see Christ in all his glory and partake of that glory then we receive the fullness of his grace the fullness of his truth which is his glory and then Psalm 145 verses 11 to 12 they shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known to the sons of men God's mighty deeds the power of the kingdom and the mighty deeds of the Lord flow from His glory. When His glory comes, you will see His power. You will see His mighty deeds. Don't we want His power? Don't we want His mighty deeds over our seemingly insurmountable problems and situations in life? Over the insurmountable situations of the people we pray for? Don't we want the power of the Lord to change the lives of broken-hearted people, then we must ask for His glory. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 3, His divine power has bestowed upon us all things, this is the Amplified Bible, requisite and suited to life and godliness through the full personal knowledge of Him who called us by and to His own glory and excellence or virtue. His divine power is alongside His glory. His power to equip us, His power to provide us, is along the revelation of His glory. Isaiah 58, 8. Then shall your light break forth like the morning, and your healing shall spring forth speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. When the Lord walks behind us in His glory, Psalm 23 verse 6, uh, Surely goodness and mercy follow me. Follow me. Butsulingon sa likod ko. What is behind us is His glory. What is around us is His healing and His righteousness. It goes with His glory. Psalm 24 verse 7. In it, taong taong gini. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is called the King of glory. First, let the King of glory come in. Okay. The next verses tell us what happens when the King of glory comes in. This is what happens. There is none like God, O Jeshua and Israel, who rides through the heavens to your help, His majestic glory. For other people, tribulation, but glory and honor and peace to everyone who does good. When the King of glory comes, he brings help, he brings honor, he brings peace. Arise, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Tanan nga mga maayo nga butang sa Bible, makonek sa glory of God. First Chronicles 29.11 Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. 
Ang glory, ginaoplan sang greatness, sang power, sang victory, kag majesty. Sino hindi gusto sang power, kag victory, kag majesty sa aton kabuhi? Do we want depression, defeat, anxiety, worry, despondence? That is a life without the glory of the Lord. But a life that is covered by the glory of the Lord has greatness and power and victory and majesty. 1 Thessalonians 2, verse 12. So that you would walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into His own kingdom and glory. So ang calling tagid ya, hindi lang sa iya kingdom, kundi sa iya man nga glory. Some people serve the kingdom of the Lord, nga kaluluoy gid, ka mga kapuy gid, for the kingdom, for the Lord, pero wala glory. Para na sa mo Lord, so mga itsura nila, mga napusan, kaluluoy, mga daw kinumos nga kamati sa Untung adlaw nga why gid the meal kag wala gid ka life life for the lord ni for the lord wow the where's the glory where's the glory of the lord we are called not only to his kingdom but also to his glory the glory realm John 11:40 Jesus speaking to Martha concerning Lazarus who died Jesus said to her did i not say to you that if you believe you will see the glory of God. Para sa tanan nga mga kapoy diri, nga daw hindi gid makapati, will I see the glory of God in my marriage, in my finances, in my social life, in my professional life, in my work, in my children's life, in my grandchildren? Lord, nag star kami sa duta, nga hindi namun gina panag-iyahan, anytime ipang eject kami diri, why kami kato, kabalo kung kami makan, will we ever see your glory? Ari lang pamangkot, Did I not say to you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Do you believe that you will see the glory of God? <laughs> Hallelujah. Ga record ang mga angels. We are surrounded by angels right now. They are taking note of your responses. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 5.24 Behold, the Lord our God has shown us His glory and His greatness. And we have heard His voice from the midst of the fire. We have seen today that God speaks with men, yet He lives. Kay may question, will we die if we see God's glory? Hindi lang mapatay ka kung makita mong glory sa Diyos. Di, hindi na kung mag-discuss theological. Ang Bible na lang masabat. Ha? Deuteronomy 5.24 We have seen today that God speaks with man. We have seen His glory and His greatness, and yet we still live. Hallelujah. Hindi ka mo mapatay kung makita niyo ang glory sa Ginoo. Senyo ko. Kumbistan ka mo sa mga anghel, kag sang kapawa nga hindi may eksplikar, kag music nga hindi niyo mabatian nga nagtukar sa inyo kwarto kay ang angels nagupo sa inyo, si Ling sang Bible hindi ka mo mapatay. Amen. Amen. So, ari na. We're going now to the how. Gin gin ground ta lang ang aton nga mind on the glory of the Lord. The pursuit of the glory realm follows a journey. We enter the glory When we enter the glory, we soak in the glory. Ay, amo ni Ari, di si Lord. Lord, diri na lang ko. Diri na lang ko, Lord. Kanami, diri, Lord. Then we operate in the glory. We pray over people in the glory. We serve the Lord in the glory. In glory atmosphere. And then, even if we do not do anything, we do not serve, we do not minister, we live in the glory. We enter, we soak, we operate, we live in the glory. This is a never-ending quest. Lord, may we enter the glory realm. May we soak in your glory. Amo na gani nga, walk in the Spirit, live by the Spirit, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. Why? Because the Lord wants us to always experience this journey. Enter, So, operate, live in His glory. Because if we do not live in the glory of the Lord, we emit a very not so nice spiritual emission. If it is not the glory of God surrounding us, we radiate irritation, agitation, anxiety, provocation, impatience, anger, resentment. 
But if we enter the glory and soak in the glory and operate in the glory and live in the glory, we release the love of God, the grace of God, the goodness of God. Because in the glory of God are His majestic deeds, His mighty works, His help, His healing. And that's why kinanglan gid, makunek gid kita sa glory of God. And Yeshua, behold, He cometh with clouds and great glory. We better be acquainted with glory because our bridegroom is coming in great glory. Otherwise, we will be strangers. Oh, ano ni? Ano ni? Because we have never seen the glory. We have not tasted of the glory. We better be familiar with the glory of God in the Christian life, in our Christian life. Okay. So, seeking the glory means being hungry for the manifest presence of the Lord and His goodness, displaying His healing, His mighty deeds, His majestic acts, His truth, His grace, His rear guard, His supernatural provision, supernatural protection, etc., 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 so that we do not live like mere men. We are children of God. We must live in the glory of God. Ang word ni nga Shikaina glory is from the Hebrew word Shakan, uh, which means to inhabit, to settle, or to dwell. It also means presence. So, the Shekinah glory is the manifest presence of the Lord in our midst. In the past, ang glory nagdwell sa tabernacle, and it was temporary, transferring from one place to another. Later, nagtempol siya, where it became permanent. Right now, we are the temple. And there are two kinds of temple. The corporate temple, which is the ecclesia, or the church, or the synagogue, or the assembly, or the individual temple. Both are temples. And someday, we will dwell with God in Shekinah glory, which shall be eternal. Now, here is a very important point. Men can build the atmosphere for the glory of God to come. Amuning aton nga tanawon gid kay natahuman gid ko sini. We can invite the Lord to come down in glory, but we have to prepare the place. We have to prepare the atmosphere. We have to prepare the situation. In the Bible, Old Testament, we have already seen the precedent ang history. Paano na natabo? The tabernacle was first built according to specification. Exodus chapter 25 to 40, instructions on how to build the tabernacle. Then, paglabot mo, chapter 40, the glory of the Lord came down. When His instructions were carried out. This is how you will make the curtain. This is how you will measure the room. I will come to you, but let me see you build my place. Pagkita niya, approve. I will come down in glory. So there is a lesson here. We can prepare the situation, the milieu, the ambience, the atmosphere, physically and spiritually for the glory of the Lord to come down. The same thing happened in Solomon's time at the dedication of the temple. The cloud filled the temple of the Lord and the priests could not perform their service because of the cloud for the glory of the Lord filled the temple because they carried out His instructions on how to prepare the place. So, the ko nga prinsipyo, the participation of man with God. He will come down in glory, but we have to do our part. Okay. Now, we are the living temple. Wala na sang tabernacle. The temple made of stones uh, in Jerusalem is not there. And we are now in Second Peter, the living stones being built up into a spiritual house. So, in ing living temple, dakpon na gini. Aberman ko ng iban, hindi magbaton sang glory, hindi man sila mag-cooperar, kitaya individually 
personally can be a glory-filled life. Because we individually are the temple of the Lord. We can build up the glory in us. Even if we are placed in, a, in the middle of skeptics and scoffers and insulters and mockers, we can still walk in the glory and with the glory of the Lord. Because we are now the tabernacle. We are now the living temple. And the Lord has a covenant. Where there is a temple, He will release His glory. When the temple is ready, when the temple is prepared. So there is an individual temple and an individual glory dwelling in the temple. But there is also a collective temple where glory dwells. Kung tanan kita diri, magpalanggaanay, magdayaw sa ginoo, you bring your glory, He brings His glory, you bring your glory, and together, in our shared glory, the corporate glory of the Lord will dwell. Amo gining pangamu yung unta sa ni Hope. Let's hunger for the glory of the Lord. Okay. There are two ways to build the glory realm. Nami ang ko sini. There is the spiritual, there is the practical. Kaya hindi man ipwede nga spiritualize mo lang nitanan. The physical is also a unique study. The practical or the physical. But we first start with the spiritual because everything begins in the holy of holies, in the spirit. So, what are the spiritual ways of building the glory realm spiritual ways? Number one, Gid. Psalm 24. Purity and hunger must go together. Purity and hunger. Hunger for the Lord. Look at Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. He founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in His holy place? The one who has clean hands, pure heart, who does not trust an idol or swear by false God. That's why, in my prayer time, in my own prayer room, Amo nang first nga song, Gintudlo ni Lord sa akon. Purify me, Lord. Sanctify me, Lord. Oh, dear Lord, hear my desperate cry. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. In my own prayer room in the house, do you know that sometimes I cannot get off that first song after one hour or sometimes even two hours, galibot lang ko, because you pick up so much defilement every day. Pick up on mo ang istorya diri, patay tayo istorya din to, sumulod sa otok mo, ang istorya nga daw, timplas ang butig kag tikal, apiktado ka, nairitar ka, daso na worship ka sa ginoo. Tinloan na ginanay. This is a song of ascent. Why? Because it is ascending the mountain of the Lord. Ascending to the mountain of the Lord is clean hands and pure heart. And there is a promise. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek Him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Okay, I want us to get this. Lain na ang purity and sanctification para nga magbuot ka, kag magtadlong ka, kag pwede mo isugid nga pure ka. Delikado na nga klase sang purity. Kay ikaw gali ang Diyos sang sina nga purity para nga masugid-sugid mo lang nga hindi ka na torpe. Ang tutuod nga purity, may ginakadtuan. Ginapangita mo ang Diyos Nga ang nga ka for purity, kay gusto mo imit ang Lord. Ang Lord ang object sa purity because you seek His face, O God of Jacob. Here is Psalm 24. Kaginagin basa na ito. Lift up your heads, you gates be lifted up, you ancient doors that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord Almighty, He is the King of glory. And then Ari, ang... Uh, 
himoon niya, when we lift up our heads, when the ancient doors are opened, the King of Glory may can come in. We can apply this personally, we can apply this geographically, but the basic point is, all the gates of our lives must be open to let the King of Glory come in. The emotional gate, the imagination gate, the financial gate, the relational gate, let all the gates of our lives be open. Dapat wala chamber sa aton kabuhi nga off limit si Lord. Lord sa present worship ko, okay ka. Pero hindi lang pagtanduga ang relasyon ka. Ha? Hindi lang pagtanduga ang mga ginabasa ko. Ako lang na i-decide ko na anong basahon ko. No, open all the gates. Lord, amon ni ang akong closet, amon ni ding makita mo nga magasin. Hindi na di Lord ang hindi mo gusto. Open all the gates. Let the King of Glory come in. Second, spiritual Glory realm builder is praise and worship. Praise and worship. Psalm 100, Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Okay. Let me say something about verse 1. This is the reason why many churches do not operate in glory. You know why? They are very formal and very stiff. They cannot shout for joy. Something, there is another lecture in Revive Asia on the value of shout. But that is not my topic tonight. Something about shouting releases you. Something about shouting gives freedom. It builds up the atmosphere for glory to come down. Tanawabla ang mga pinaka touching kag blessing ng mga conference kag assembly. Amo na ang gasinugyao, ginugyao kag gasinggitan. Ginkawat ni sa kalibutan. That's why sila ang ginugyao kag nagasinggitan. Ang mga kaanakan sa Diyos, puwerte ka mga buot-buot. Daw may ginalubong na patay. <laughs> na. Shout for joy. Okay. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us. We are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and enter His courts with praise. And then, Ariman Parintinya, Psalm 34, verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Uh, I need to confess something. I feel more invigorated to attend church services where people are freer to respond. Nabudlayan ko kisa sang panimbahon nga why gid ga sapat ang kongregasyon terrible na ang punto kag tinagasak na ang himay sang Dios <laughs> na nami angid ko sang kisa magtan-aw sa TV sang mga panimbahon sang mga negro amen hallelujah da sun bombahan pa sa tong 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 Tugay ang lakap yun, doon nag-moonwo. Kita ka mo na. Grabe. Continually. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are building up the glory realm. Amo na ang wala gatos nga. Kaluoy sang Diyos ara. Are you following? Ano nga sustainer? Kaluoy sang Diyos. Pero hindi ang himaya sang Diyos. Wala ko ga sila nga wala Diyos. May ara man. Pero kaluoy sang Diyos. Sige na lang. Okay na. Okay. Grabe gining glory realm. Dito ko na-insindihan yung doktrina sang glory realm. Hebrews 
Therefore, let us continually, through Jesus, through Yeshua, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Anong si Kritos ang continually, 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 without ceasing, continue, so that on and on and on ang glory, ang glory, hindi maglakat, hindi magpalayo. Sige, sige ha. Kaya ang glory matinir, ang glory magpabilin. On taton mo na karoon, ma-evacuate. Tuod na. Ma-evacuate ang ginoo, ang, ang glory sa ginoo. Mad, hindi lang. Pero, sige na lang. <laughs> Basta, continue. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Psalm 22. He is enthroned in our praises. This was first applied to Israel, but we are the spiritual Israel. We are children of Abraham by faith. So this is applied to us also. My God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I have no rest. Yet you are holy, O you who are enthroned upon the praises of Israel. The more we praise, the more we worship, the more His throne is built up spiritually in our midst. He is enthroned in the praises of His people. That means glory, the glory of the Lord. Anya, First Timothy chapter two. Bao, kita ng mga don hindi gid magbayaw sa aton kamot kabay pa. Ma born again na kita sininga gabi. First Timothy chapter two ha. Introduction niya. I urge then first of all that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, etc., etc., etc. For there is one God, one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. Uh, Yeshua Hamashiach who gave himself a ransom for all people. And then, therefore, I want all men everywhere to pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or disputing. Ano na iabi ang kabudlay sa mag-amo kagid na? Abi kong tanan bila nga naga simba sa Diyos. Pero kadto ka bila sa mga simbahan today. Kudaki, praise and worship, pila ka porsinto ka, wala na kuya, magamuna. And then you can measure the amount of glory available in the church. Kaya ito na kuya man sila nga eh, dayawon ang ginoo. So you don't really feel the majesty of the presence of the Lord. This is building up the glory realm. When you lift up your hands, And then, there are many other biblical expressions of praise. When you declare thanks, when you clap your hands, and when you shout, when you use musical instruments, when you dance, when you sing praise songs, when you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. So, ang mga hymns, kag psalms, ang hymns, ha? Hindi nyo pag i-chapwira git. Binlan nyo mang kami hymns. Kaya nagtubo ako sa hymns. Okay. Make a joyful noise. Lifting our hands, being still, being loud. All of these also are expressions of praise to the Lord. Okay. Now, the value of the new song. I really pray that Nihop will be a habitation of new songs. Because this is one of the indicators of the glory of God. He puts a new song in my mouth, Psalm 40 verse 3, a song of praise to our God. And many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. Why will many will see and will fear and will trust in the Lord when a new song is in His mouth? The mouth of the psalmist. What is the connection between the many who will see and fear and will trust in the Lord when a new song is sung? The clue is in the word new, which is the word kadash, which means fresh, new, not produced before, original. Why will, why will it cause many to see and fear and will trust in the Lord? Because malibog ng ulo sang unbelievers. Oh, grabe. Why ko na kabati yung kanta yaman? Uh, katahom sang ilig sang kanta ni hindi na naghalin man na itudlo mong gino the Holy Spirit moved in us and everybody flows ah, mukha mo na da ya 
Te abi liwat tato be? Ay hindi ko naman liwat to. Kwa nyong punto. Amo lang gina to para lang gina to sa amo na. Fresca ang pagdayo sa Dios every time. So there is a value for songs that you learn. But the Lord is pleased with new song. Inab lang hindi mo nang urig-uri gidiab lang. Uh, nami gidiab lang nga ikaw lang yang gintagaan sina nga hindi na naiya mahulam sang iban. Uh, original. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. The Lord loves to wait for a new song to arise. So, Lord, I pray, release the spirit of the new song in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Third, prayer and intercession. The third spiritual glory builder. Okay. Number one, to purity of heart and hunger for the Lord. Number two, praise and worship. Number three, prayer and intercession builds up the glory realm. In 1 Kings chapter 8, at the dedication of the temple, Solomon prayed to the Lord. A wonderful prayer. Basahan nyo na lang da. And what happened? The priests could not perform their service because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Prayer always builds up the glory realm. Pero, what kind of prayer? Let us learn from Daniel the kind of prayers that bring in the glory realm. Very quickly. Si Daniel, amuning isa sa mga ginakonsider pinakatigas in the glory realm. Look at how he experienced the glory realm. Who among us have been given that time frame of God for ages. Si Daniel was given a very, very uh, panoramic view of the end times. Who among us has ever been accompanied by an angel in the lion's den? Daniel entered the glory realm. He soaks in the glory realm. He operates in the glory realm. He lives in the glory realm. So, gina-examine ni sang mga revivalist ang iya lifestyle. What did they discover among others sa iya lifestyle, especially sa prayer life? Yeah. Okay. We have a sample of his lifestyle and his prayer life. Chapter 9, verse 1. In the first year of Darius, son of Xerxes, who was made ruler over the Babylonian kingdom, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood from the scriptures according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah the prophet that the desolation of Jerusalem would last 70 years. So I turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayer and petition, in fasting, in sackcloth and ashes. Here, please look at this. First, Daniel's prayers were predominantly intercessory. There is not a prayer recorded that Daniel prayed for himself. He always prayed for the nation, for God's people. Intercessor. He was an intercessor. Number two, kagamugining natigasan ko. It was scripture praying. He understood from the scriptures, according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah the prophet. So when he prays, he is guided by scriptures. He wrestles with scriptures. He applies scriptures to his situation. Scriptures, scriptures, scriptures. When he prays, he prays with an open scroll or an open Bible. He checks the word of God and then he struggles and wrestles with the Lord. Goes back to the word and then goes into prayer. Third, it was very earnest. When he understood during his intercession certain things from the word of the Lord and through the prophets, he turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayer and petition, in fasting, in sackcloth, and ashes. Serious, Gidya, si Daniel. He lived a fasted lifestyle. And then, 
Verse 4, I prayed to the Lord my God and confessed, Lord, the great and awesome God who keeps His covenant of love with those who love Him and keep His commandments, we have sinned and done wrong. We have been wicked and we have rebelled. We have turned away from your commands and laws. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name. Here you see, He affirms the nature and character of God and takes time to say it, to state it. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are merciful. Lord, you are kind. Wala siya natakan nga maghambal sina. Lord, kanami gid sa imo. Lord, kabuot sa imo. And then he affirms and confirms the sins of his people and takes time to state it. Lord, kami bow. Sorry lang gid. Gid offend ka gid namon. Tingko yan kami. Wala kami ga pamati sa imo. Because he was taking the side of God. He knew that God was hurt with the behavior and the conduct of His people. And Silenia verse 7, Lord, you are righteous, but this day we are covered with shame. The people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and all Israel, both near and far, in all the countries where you have scattered us because of our unfaithfulness to you, we and our kings, our princes, and our ancestors are covered with shame, Lord, because we have sinned against you. The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against Him. Here we see, there is humility and acceptance of the consequences of our sins. Wala siya na gapa, gapa as if, as if. Lord, kabalogid kami, gadeserve gid kami sini, kay kadungol gid sa amon, amoni, amutu, amuna. But there is also a reaffirmation of the goodness and loving nature of God. And this is where it takes a turn for glory. Maliso ni siya sa glory. There, therefore, the curses and sworn judgment written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, have been poured on us, etc., etc., etc. Just as it is written in the law of Moses, all this disaster has come upon us. The Lord did not hesitate to bring the disaster on us. For the Lord our God is righteous in everything He does, yet we have not obeyed Him. Now here is what we are thankful to God for here in Nehop, the prayer of Daniel was based on the Torah. He had a deep understanding of law and grace, of the Torah. This is what he said, written in the law of Moses, according to the law of Moses. The Torah, the basic revelation of the will of God. Now, of course, we'll say, the Old Testament na, the many Old Testament. The principle is the same. The word of the Lord, the instruction of the Lord. Daniel was grounded in the law of the Lord. But also he understood the superior works of grace of the Lord. Kita yagid ang dua. He sees the Torah. He sees grace. He is not rejecting one and upholding the other. Both the revelation of God the Torah and the grace of God. Some people call it law and grace, whatever it is. We are by grace, yes, but the grace of God becomes beautiful when you look at it at the backdrop of His law. Pastang punto ko lang, this is how Daniel prayed. He understood what happened to them based on the Torah. Niya nga, mugininig na silang isang Torah daw, kung magbino ang ta, mugininig daw, balbalgin, ti daw, balbalgin daw. Pero, ang ginoo, kaayogid. Nagliso na siya sa kaayo sang Diyos. Oh, now, now, Lord, our God, who brought your people out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and who made yourself a name that endures to this day, we have seen we've done wrong. Lord, in keeping with all your righteous acts, turn away your anger and your wrath from Jerusalem, your city, your holy hill. Nag-ayo na siya sa ginoo ba maluoy ka man. Daniel's intercession turned towards redemption and grace. Amuning pulian sang glory builder. At the end of the lamentation, at the end of the, la, of the intercession, you end on the note of redemption and grace. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are merciful. Lord, you are wonderful. Because you are going to 
bring in the glory of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord. Kundi amo nang i-affirm mo, Lord, maayo ka gidbala, mapinatawaron ka gidbala, Lord. He was pleading for mercy for his people, the essential duty of the intercessor. He was building the atmosphere for glory. Tingin ginoo ka pamati sa langit. Terrible man nga bata ni si Toto din yun. Ginadumog yung Bible. Mayo nga bata. Pao, why siya nagsunggod nga ginbalbal ko sila? Kaya naintindihan niya sa Torah nga amogin na nagsiling na gid ko nga amo na matabo. Bao believe siya sa Bao maayo gin. Ano, ano siling niya, Angel? Ano siling? Pakitluoy siya sa imo kay maayo ka kunubos nga Diyos. Correct yun na. Abi prepara tanan ko nga glory na healing. Abi prepara. Kaya manaog ta to. Amo na. Gin-preparar ni Daniel ang atmosphere for glory to come down. So, bisan ihaboy mo siya sa layon, bisan ihaboy mo siya sa kalayo, updan gin siya sa glory, na set up yung ganyang atmosphere for glory to come down. The four things, he entered the glory realm, he soaked in the glory realm, he operated in the glory realm, he lived in the glory realm. Amo ginang i-aspire natun tanan. That is the goal of every child of God, especially going into the end times. How can you not live in the glory in the end times? The glory of God is our only protection, our only provision, our only covering, the glory, the glory, the glory of God. So that is why he ends with this petition. Hear the prayers and petitions of your servant. For your sake, O Lord, look with favor on your desolate sanctuary. Give ear our God and hear. Open your eyes and see the desolation of the city that bears your name. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Lord, listen. Lord, forgive. Lord, hear and act for your sake. My God, do not delay because your city and your people bear your name. Sili sa gino. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be there. I'll bring my glory down to you, to, to Daniel. And I'll also bring coffee. With <laughs> mga pi kita kay istoryahan ta ka. Subong lang ning problemahan mo, 70 years of desolation, istoryahan ta ka sang bugos nga matabo sa bilog nga kalibutan hasta sa pag kay nami angid ko sa imo to, to Daniel. Sili sa gino. So, this is a model of prayer for bringing down the glory realm. The prayer opens the heaven and brings down the glory. Immediately. While I was speaking and praying, confessing my sin and the sin of my people, and making my curse to the Lord my God for his holy hill, while I was still in prayer, Gabriel, the man I had seen in the earlier vision, came to me in swift flight about the time of the evening sacrifice. Di ginamani-mani na lang ang istorya sa mga anghel. The glory realm has descended upon him. Amuni ang aton nga, i-build up sa aton nga life. Lord, help me to produce that same kind of character that Daniel had. Number four. Fourth, glory builder. Bow. Ginoobuli kikid kami kay agunto kami diri. Peace and unity with one another. Unity. Pao, wow, hallelujah. Preparar ka mo kay may inoghambal diri ang ginoo sa aton. Sa mga nagasunggod sa isa kag isa. Preparahang inyong mga tagipuson. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to His disciples to wait and not leave Jerusalem because the Holy Spirit will come upon them and give them power. What did they do? What did they do? They all joined together constantly in prayer. Look at their spirit. They were of one heart and soul. Pwerte nga understanding, paumod, consideration, Kag palangga na isa kag isa sa isa kag isa. Ang mga personalidad nila, mga sinamo-samo. 
may mga choking nga mga personalidad, may jalibi, may babs nga personalidad, may pitchapay nga personalidad. Kung sa normal lang, hindi ni sila maghilibaot. Pero sa gugma sa ginoo, nag-isa sila. Pag-isa nila, kag nag-continue sila, great power the apostles were giving testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and abundant grace was upon them all. Glory realm descended on the first believers because they were of one heart and soul. One heart and soul. Amunin nga si Satanas, i-oppose niya ang glory by making us fight with one another and sunggud-sunggud with one another. Okay. Psalm 133. How good and how pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down the color of his robe, as if the Jew of Hermon were fallen on Mount Zion. For there the Lord commands or bestows His blessing when His people live together in unity. That is why kabalugid ang kontra kundiin niya kita birahon sa unity. Kay hindi siya gusto nga mag-operate kita in glory. Hindi siya gusto healing. Hindi siya gusto deliverance. Glory na. Yeah, hindi ko ni pag ipadescend ang glory. Paawayon ko ni sila sa isa isa Now, here is the verse that I want all of us to memorize from now on until the second coming. Psalm 119, verse 165. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. If we love the Lord and His law, His Torah, hindi kita dali magsunggod. Hello? 1 Corinthians chapter 13, Love is not easily offended. Ano gid ang kuryente sa glory? Kay kita tani nga spiritual temple, nga i-connect na kita nga mga living hollow blocks, one with another, hindi kita magtupad. Ay, kay... Ay, may lihampal eh. Are you following? Why? Ti, hindi mag-hold ang container sa glory. Hindi ka-hold. You know, remember the meaning of the word glory. It means kabud. Meaning weight. Weight. Bugat. Ti, kung ang structure may litik, kag-disconnected, mawasak na sa kabud, sa weight. Bakuron gid ang mauyat sang glory. Ang nagauyat sang glory is unity and harmony, understanding and love with one another. Psalm 119 verse 165. Great peace have they which love thy law. The anoning connection sang great peace and the law. The Torah, the instruction. For example, how many times shall I forgive my brother? Seventy. Seven times? No, seventy times seven. That's the law of God, the Torah. The great peace have you if you love that word. Ako bla, dili sa mga sinalayudi. No, I will speak freely as the Lord gives me the boldness. You tayo dako kapos git kita di magsunggod sa aton mga sinalayu, magin hambal o gin paidog kita kay may amon eh, or ang kape gin timpla na may nagkuha ang alain <laughs> nasunggod hala sunggod nga sunggod nga sunggod di ang glory ga atras nga ga atras nga ga atras we must operate in the spirit of unity Amo na ang iban nga mga simbahan, bisan na no mga wali sa pulpito, bisan na no nga program, 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 sang board, 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 evangelistic program, discipleship program, kung hindi na magpinatawaray na, wala gina, glory nga mag-abot na. Ari Pagid, glory builder, hallelujah, <laughs> rightful gift and offerings, Malakai chapter 3, Tithes and offerings. Because when you give your tithes and offerings, 
He will throw open the floodgates of heaven. Open heavens when you give what is due to the Lord. When you hindi na ako maglecture on tithes and basta giving, basta you want open heavens ah. for out so much blessing. Abi nyo lang wala ni hilabot sa open heavens and glory realm. Ha? Pick up ko man eh, sa Revive Asia sa Thailand. Perting balbal nila sini. Hindi sila gusto nga ang hilikoton sa Diyos do kakaluluoy nga do na pigaduhan. Oh. Bao para ni kay Lord. Ah para kay Lord. So ano na lang mantener na lang. Give to the Lord what belongs to him. And he will open throw open the floodgates. There will be open heavens when we give. Then all the nations will call you blessed for yours will be a delightful land. So giving builds up the glory realm. Okay. Now, there are cases where glory realm cannot come or is limited. Matthew 13, 57. And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own hometown and in his own household. And he did not do many miracles there, meaning ang glory niya wala gid nag-escalate because of their unbelief. And he wondered at their unbelief and he, as he was going around the villages, teaching. Tanawan niyo ang verse 5 sa Matthew, sa Mark chapter 6. He could do no miracle except he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. Si Yeshua na gidni. And yet, he just laid hands on a few sick people and healed them because of their unbelief. And he wondered at their unbelief. He taught, but he could not heal a lot. Here in this place, we can do a lot of teaching, but there will be little healing if there is unbelief. Unbelief is a destroyer of the glory atmosphere. Lack of faith. Now, I want you to look at this picture. Will the glory come down in a crowd like this? May gain istorya. Hanay, may nagadal. Suri lang ako kung sino. Anyway, basta example. We now go to the practical ways of ushering in the glory realm of having an open heaven. Practical ways. Do not underestimate the practical ways. You will not believe the first step. The first practical step is preparation and anticipation. Psalm 122. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. He was not glad when he came in the house of the Lord. Are you following? Ginhambalan pa lang siya. Lakata. Sa diin. Sa house of the Lord. Yeah! Mapahouse of the Lord. My preparation siya and anticipation. I would like you to see the sort of preparation that happens here. Psalm 122. Our feet are standing in your gates or Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built like a city that is closely compacted together. That is where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to praise the name of the Lord according to the statute given to Israel. There stand the thrones for judgment, the thrones of the house of, J of, J of David. Wala pa siya kakadto. Using his prophetic imagination, lecture ni Sister Rita, gina-imagine niya na ang i-receive niya to. Preparado na ang korason niya, kag-espiritu niya, makadto ko to karon. Baho, amun, dira ng mga tribo sang ginukakadto, ang thrones of judgment of the Lord, at to na dito, ano naman to karon ang i-reveal ni Lord man. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. And then he said, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say, Peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your prosperity. Wala pa siya kakadto sa Jerusalem. Gina di kaya na peace. Jerusalem, temple, I am going there a few hours from now. I speak peace. I speak to Nehop. I speak peace to the lecture, to the 
soaking karon. Oh, my praise and worship kami. Oh, I still have two more hours. Lord, I am going there. I speak peace there. Lord, I send my peace there to that place. You are building the glory realm. You are building the glory realm even before you go to the place where you expect to experience the glory of the Lord. Speak peace. And, and this same principle applies to our relationship. You will visit your grandmother. You will visit your mother-in-law. Before you go there, speak peace. Lord, I'm going to visit my mother-in-law. And sometimes you know how I, what my difficulty in whatever, in the, like that, whatever, etc. Kung ano nang mga issue-issue da sa mga in-laws mo. Speak peace before you go. Build up the glory realm there before you go. Prepare. Anticipate to operate in the glory before you arrive there. Terribly ng mga leksyon. Okay. You prepare the place for glory when you bless it, but do not misspell the word place. Okay. Okay. So, amuna. Okay. Number two. Ini. Grabe niya. Because we might be so spiritual, we might disregard the physical. We must take care of the external physical environment. Nakakadlaw ko ni isang na labian ko ni one time in my daily quiet time, Deuteronomy chapter 23. Masaan ko sa inyo. Self-explanatory. Designate a place outside the camp where you can go to relieve yourself. Hallelujah. As part of your equipment, have something to dig with. And when you relieve yourself, dig a hole and cover up your... <clears throat> okay? I will not read that aloud. The explanation is what is interesting. For the Lord your God, God moves about in your camp to protect you and to deliver your enemies to you. Your camp must be holy so that He will not see among you anything indecent and turn away from you. Hello? What if in the praise, praise and worship area, there are empty bottles there and napkins and trash? Do you think the glory of the Lord will descend there? No. Clean it up. What if this place has trash all around or ants or rats or cockroaches eating up spoiled food that has not been properly disposed of in the past five days? You think the glory of the Lord will come? No. Ang tao gani, hindi ang Diyos pa. Offended kag repelled gani ang tao. That's why cleanliness is next to godliness. Even the physical aspect is preparing the realm of glory. Amo man ang room ta, amo man ang balay ta, why ta gapangayo sang di kumputok nga balay. Bisan simple na na nga balay, kung duta man lang na, kagwala na si Minto, tinloe ang hilamon silhigi. Itapana ang duta, hindi pagpataasa pa ang kugon sa ido mo nga. Kaya ang ginoo, hindi magpanaog in glory kung bauna. Bauna naman eh. Why gini sila nagaplo pang himos-himos di? Deuteronomy 23 verse 14. So even our house where we live must be clean. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be kumputok. But it must be a place where the Lord would not be repulsed when He comes in Shekinah glory. Do not underestimate the external physical environment. Pay attention to its preparation. It builds up the glory realm. In fact, ang colors kag materials in the tabernacle also has a role. You see, there are purple and white and scarlet and blue. This also speaks of the physical environment. They also depict a spiritual message. My study, sila nga ginhimo, on the effect of colors. But that's not so much our point of interest tonight. Importante nga 
the ambience of the place must also be conducive. They found out that soft blue makes you peaceful. It makes you uh, want to worship the Lord um, more. They also found out that red makes you fired up or agitated. So, which part of your house should be colored this and which part? What should be the color of the worship area? Even those things are issues. In the temple, Exodus 26, 31, the Lord, for some reason, ordered that the veil should be made of blue and purple and scarlet yarn and fine twined linen. It shall be made with cherubim skillfully worked into it. May epekto ni sa tao nga nagasulod sa temple nga anga amuna. The Lord pays attention to the physical environment. Okay, so it might have looked like this. So many people attempted to to approximate how it might look like, but the Lord said, "You emblazon the cherubim in the curtain." So it might have looked like this. But I'm, what I'm just trying to convey is the environment physical creates the atmosphere. When you enter a place like that, the physical environment spiritually prepares you to walk into the glory of the Lord. Ang tabernacle curtains is very interesting because siling sang Exodus, the, the embroidery should be, sa King James Version, should be cunning work. Ang word nga cunning work sa King James is taken from the root word kashab in Hebrew, which means to weave or to fabricate, to plot or contrive, hence to think or imagine. Therefore, use your imagination to create an atmosphere of faith and anticipation for the glory of the Lord to come down. For example, ah, kita dire, hindi man tanan kita di seers. What is wrong with this? Kung hindi makuha ka kita, by faith, kagina imagine ko, kagina libutan kita di sang angels. Ti sa wayon nyo ko nga, imo imo lang na. That is the Hebrew word, cunning work, which means created by the mind or the imagination. If you can be condemned by the Lord for evil imagination, will not the Lord commend you for good imagination. Hindi ba lang nga, wala ka nakapatay, gin imagine mo lang, nakapatay ka na, wala ka nakalugos, gin naglastful ka lang sa isada who is not your spouse, you have already committed adultery, why not turn it around for good? Because you, you can be condemned for something evil you imagine. Why not let imagination help you in your Christian walk. So if some people say that they see river, okay, you don't see, okay, just imagine the river of God flowing here. Do it by faith. The Lord will bless you if we use our imagination for His glory. The Lord paid attention to the surroundings of His tabernacle. He the physical aspect. Now, it doesn't mean that we need an expensive meeting place for glory to come in. We can meet under a tree and there can still be glory like in this place in Africa. Why get sila ya building? Da lang sila ya sa Oksaran? Pero tanawa ka tinlo. Tanawa nyo ba? Kaplastado, kahimos. There is glory in this place. Because the people come with hungry hearts and the physical place is cleaned up. Bisan amula na ka bare, kag amuna ka simple. Number three, guard the entrance, exits, and insides. Physical, practical aspect of building up the glory realm. Ezekiel 44. I looked and saw the glory of the Lord filling the temple of the Lord and I fell face down. And the Lord said to me, Son of man, Look carefully, listen closely, give attention to everything I tell you. 
concerning all the regulations and instructions regarding the temple of the Lord. Give attention to the entrance to the temple and all the exits of the sanctuary. While the Lord wanted to meet the people in the temple, He also saw to it that there are physical guards. Guardjahan, gatekeepers. Okay. Remember the gatekeepers. First Chronicles 9. All those who were chosen to be gatekeepers at the threshold were 212. Those were enrolled by genealogy in their villages whom David and Samuel the seer appointed in their office of trust. They were in charge of the gates as guards. Guards. The gatekeepers are guards. The gatekeepers were on the four sides to the east, west, north, and south. There is a new hope. We have only one official publicly known gatekeeper who wears sunglasses tonight because... <laughs> of his condition. Pero, you know, we can have the spirit of the gatekeeper and guard the glory of God in this place. Bantayan natin. Um, why guards and gatekeepers? To watch out for people who are distracting others. Watch for people who might fall down. Watch for manifest demonic manifestations. Or need ministering, people who may need ministering or praying right then and there. The glory of the Lord sometimes will be attacked by the enemy. So my gatekeepers, ngaga bantay. Sometimes in revival meetings, may ma singgit yala in yaya yung kululbaan yung hindi yaya mo. So ang gatekeeper, ang guard, minister na pahipuso. Or may na ego gitya sang ginoo yung naghilibion. The gatekeeper, the guard comes, hugs. Ipapungkoon niya kaya nagtumbahon to siya. Or natumba siya, kwa katong mantel or cloth, tabunan siya para hindi siya mabihangan. To keep the glory of the Lord staying in the place. Because any distraction, if it gets serious, might cause the Lord to depart. So there are gatekeepers and guards to protect the glory of the Lord. Hindi bala nga ang dignitaries when they come. There are guards. Kung may buang tungo nagsulot, or tao nga do hindi amo, or hubog, hindi bala. Otherwise, kung mabatsyagan na sang dignitary, malakat na. Ang ginoo, ang glory niya, we must be so respectful of the glory of God that we must secure the place with gatekeepers and guards. I pray to God that we will grow in this area as we journey in the faith, in the glory realm. And then, number four, bow. Diri ako nagapangamuyo. Okay, gid ang handom kag paninguha. Pero nami, gid nga ang pulian niya, skillful. Hello. Thank you, Lord, for our skillful players. That's why ako sa banyo, kag sa balay lang, gato-kato. Kaya hindi pagid ko skillful. Nga, naghulam na ko to sa keyboard sa pakaisa ko kay gusto ko mag-graduate from gitara to keyboard. Anyway, sing to the Lord joyfully. Sing to Him a new song. Play skillfully. So, to our musicians, here is a word of encouragement. Skill. Skill helps build up the glory realm. Do not underestimate the place of skill. Kung tigas ka kagsagad kaya maglagas ang notaya gabulig ka sa atmosphere of worship pero kung nagatalang ang nota mo pangita sa lilikuan nagpawala ang singer nagpatuo ang akompanista tilos dang ang mabatsagan mo mana hindi ba Katiga sa tunog, kakirap-kirap ng mata mo sa himaya, doon sa nabatian mo. Tos nga ako nga, hindi amuti, crash land gina. So, ini nga mga butang, wala ni gina underestimate. Hindi lang ni pa spiritual-spiritual all the time. May physical, kag-practical mani, and skill of the musicians is part of the thing. 2 Kings chapter 3. Music jump starts the anointing. Remember si Elisha? He cannot prophesy, he cannot operate in the glory realm unless a harpist would play first. 2 Kings chapter 3 verses 14 to 
16. Ginapaprofesahin siya, ginamangkot siya. Ano gina sinis ang ginoo? Hindi mag-andar ang iya espiritu kaya gainit ang ulo niya. Sa nag-request sa iya, pero napakalma siya sa harpist. Skillful nga harpist. So, he operated in the realm of glory. Ang music creates atmosphere. This is what I'd like to share with you. Nabatian ko sa ilang uh, lecture materials, teaching materials. Do you know that ang mga termites eat two times faster listening to heavy rock metal music? May music nga nagapada, nagapaisog pagid sang mga anay. Gusto mo ubuson ang balay mo sang anay? <laughs> Bakli sang Guns and Roses ka Glad Zeppelin ka Metallica ang balay mo gubaan na lang ang balay mo na okay research niya scientific research na okay sang so, una marcher ko kontra Marcos sang high school ko as the early college may pagka revolutionary yung ulo ko you know why because I was fed by Revolutionary songs. Listening to songs that inspire bloody nationalistic fervor. They define you. They shape you. They define your imagination. Well, ang isa ka good side lang siya na I decided to stay in the Philippines and not go to America. Singkondri lang, kuya, kay pwerting mga kanta sa mga asinto sa una. Dumduman nyo to. Fire. Okay. Hallelujah. Now, How can the glory be experienced? Lapit na lang ni ma conclude. There are two kinds of experience of the glory of God. There is an actual shared glory, which means everybody sees it all together.